Hey guys and welcome to this basic JavaScript programming tutorial. My name is George and today what we are going to do is that we're going to learn how to use the switch statement in JavaScript. So basically I have this uh, HTML file over here and uh, the first thing that we're going to do just type in switch and open parentheses and inside parentheses type in a variable uh, to evaluate. So uh, after that open brackets and now uh, what, we're, what we're going to do now is that we're going to write some cases uh, that might be or might not be executed depending on the, the value of this uh, variable called n. So let's say that variable n equals 5 for example. And over here we can type several cases for n's uh, value for example. We can say case 1 Then type it like that. Type break. Then uh, case uh, I don't know four. Break case five. Break default. So I'm just going to explain what really this is. Uh, you type in, for example, this is uh, the first case uh, which says uh, two. So if uh, the variable n equals these two over here, uh, this 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 will mean that uh, we might execute some code between the case uh, statement and the break uh, statement over here. So I will say over here the value is two. Uh, but in this case, uh, the variable n equals five. So over here in case number five, um, this is the case that will be executed in, um, for this. Uh, uh, program over here so I will say the value is 5 and then go ahead and save this program and see what happens I will explain the rest later so I will uh, reload my website and the message that uh, is displayed here says that the value is 5 so this means that basically because the variable n equals 5 we then test it and see in which case uh, we're going to uh, execute code because of the value of this uh, variable because the variable is, uh, is equals this uh, 5 over here this is why execute uh, this code in case that the variable equals for example two, number 2 go ahead and save this and we will say uh, okay the, the value is 2 and then that means that this case over here has been executed uh, so what exactly that this uh, break functions uh, means uh, basically when you enter a case for example um, uh, this one you start executing this code and then you go down and execute everything you can find um, and you don't stop until you find a break function so if we had no break over here and here we will execute all this until uh, this alert value that says that value is 5 so if you save this program and execute it again you will see the value is 2 and then you will see another message that says the value is 5 because you don't stop uh, executing code so you need to use uh, the break instruction to stop uh, the execution on your code because uh, I believe mo most of the time you don't want that to happen so that's why you need to use the break functions and what about default over here well obviously we can't um, uh, handle or I mean program all the possible cases uh, from 1 uh, to 100 that would be really uh, I don't know uh, crazy so we have a default function that if this uh, value doesn't match any of, of these cases over here we will execute a default uh, operation and this default isn't really necessary it is not uh, uh, a must that you have to do always but you can just uh, type in something like alert um, this is the default case go ahead and save this program and now reload your website and you will see the value is 2 I'm sorry I forgot to change this just put on some uh, value that doesn't match any case over here for example number 0 and save this and reload and you will see the message that this is the default case and that is because there is no case for the for the zero value um, 
in the variable end so that's pretty much it I hope you guys like this tutorial this, it's really simple really um, it's not that uh, complicated so if you like this video please uh, don't forget to click the like button or subscribe to my channel for more videos so thanks for watching and see you later bye bye